This program is proudly brought to you by the all-new Statesman and new excellence creme from L'Oreal. Can this payroll administrator from Croydon Hills in Victoria or this marketing consultant from Point Piper in New South Wales stop our carryover champ from taking home all the prizes plus the cash jackpot valued at $341,442. Tonight on Australia's biggest bargain sale, we're offering a trip for two to tropical Mauritius. A $25,000 grand piano, the thrilling Alfa Romeo Spider, and a cash jackpot of $184,000, all on the world's richest quiz, Sale of the Century. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Glenn Ridge. Thank you very much, Peter Smith. Thank you. Nice to be with you on this Friday. We certainly hope you've had a great week. We've had a wonderful week of quizzing here with our carryover champ, Andrew, who's uh, certainly in the hot seat tonight. It's a huge night. So please give a very warm welcome to Nikki Buckley. Hello. Looking very blue there. Oh, that's sweet. Number. Oh, very nice. That's nice, isn't it? Very you want to get it dirty. Because it's a very big night. It is a big night. Basically. It's very exciting, actually. Our carryover champ uh, picked up the Alfa Romeo last night, the fabulous Spider, $69,500 worth of motor mm. vehicle. He has all the prizes, and tonight he's going for the cash jackpot, which stands at $184,000. So how would you feel if you're in his position at the uh, moment? My heart would be beating so fast. Well, it's already beating a little bit fast, Andrew. Let's find out how he is feeling. <laughs> let's reintroduce him, Nick. OK, this is our carryover champion, Andrew Yeen, from Bochum Hills in Sydney. Andrew returns tonight, risking all of the prizes, including the Alfa Romeo Spider, valued at $157,442. How are you, Andrew? Oh, I'll know in about half an hour. Uh, I might feel a lot better or a lot worse. Uh, well, you played extremely well, of course, last night. Eva Braun, the answer, the tiebreaker. Uh, the pressure was on there. You felt confident? No. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah. Doesn't give away too much. No, he doesn't. When you decided you wanted to come on sale, did you ever expect you'd be sitting here and I'd be not saying something like... Not in my wildest like... dreams. Not what? in my wildest dreams. You're risking the furniture, computer, spa, Trip to Mauritius, necklace, piano, and the Alfa Romeo. And tonight, the cash jackpot could be yours as well. So, uh, in total, that's over $300,000 worth of cash and prizes. So, good luck tonight, Andrew. Wow. We Thank wish you me. well. The pressure's Thank on you, me. but also the pressure's on our, uh, our other contestants too. Okay, well, our first challenger tonight is a payroll administrator who has a passion for acting. She enjoys walking and aerobics, and her ambition is to win a gold Logie. From Croydon Hills in Victoria, please make welcome Lynn Alexander. Hello, Lynn. Hello. Our second challenger is a marketing consultant whose interests include jogging, reading and rugby union and his ambition is to see the Wallabies win the 1999 World Cup. From Point Piper in New South Wales, please make welcome Stuart McEwer. Nice to have you with us, Stuart. Too. You. That should be a great World Cup series. Okay. Will. All right, let's get into the game. $20 starting money for all of our players. We'll see you in the gift shop. We will. Good luck, everyone. I'll look forward to it. Uh, I don't need to go through the list again, do I, <laughs> Andrew? Good luck tonight. The Alpha and all the prizes you've got on the line. So here we go. A lot of pressure on all of our players. First question. A rule or principle permitting greater freedom to one person than to another is called a double what? Stuart. Standard. Correct. The heroine of which Grimm's fairy tale lowers her long fair hair? Stuart. Rapunzel. That's correct. Uh, out of a high tower for her lover to climb. Which large heavy ball used in certain games is also a hollow rounded dish? Andrew. Discus. No, uh, usually without handles we need a bowl. Official question, uh, pictured here is the flag of which country? Stuart. Papua New Guinea. That's right. Which generic term describes a variety of atmospheric disturbances ranging from rain showers to gales and tropical cyclones? Stuart. Precipitation. No, storm we needed. The first hit single for US group Bon Jovi was 1986's You Give Love a What? Stuart. Bad name. Correct. Good shop time and a good start by Stuart. Uh, you're on 35. You're 15 ahead of Lynn. You're 20 ahead of Andrew. So, Stuart, you have the opportunity to buy here with Nikki. Stuart, let me introduce to you the ideal way to look your best in the morning with your choice of quality sleepwear. Firstly, we have Leah in an elegant pure silk peach kimono with a matching nighty underneath. Next, Murray is 
dressed in a double-sided navy gown made of warm, thick toweling with a handsome roped design. And finally, we see Kathy. Kathy is looking pretty in pink in full satin pajamas with long pants and a nightshirt. Your choice of attire is normally $1,000, but tonight only $6 from Yves Saint Laurent and Sale of the Century. Beautiful gear, isn't it, Nikki? Lovely. Now, Stuart, it's a big night. We appreciate that. There's a lot of pressure on Andrew, but also yourself. Um, $6 we want. We'll bring it down to $5. One question, if you're interested in the sleepwear, $5 going once, going twice, going no, three times. No. Not interested? No, not it. All right. No sale. No sale. All right. Fair so enough. we keep the sleep gear, and uh, Stuart stays in the lead on 35, uh, Lynn on 20, and Andrew on 15. Back to the questions. Dedicated to Venus in ancient Rome was which day of the week our sixth? Andrew. Saturday. No, Friday. What do we call one who entertains by keeping several objects in the air at the same... Andrew. Juggler. That's correct. At the same time by tossing and catching. Beginning with S is which upholstered seat with back and arms... Stuart. Settee. That's correct. Designed for two or more people. Settee or sofa. First of our fame games tonight, $10 being placed behind one of our famous faces. Stuart in the lead on 40, Lynn on 20 and Andrew on 15. So, who am I? Born in Belgium in 1929 and dying in 1993, I was in my teens when I went to London on a ballet scholarship and while there began modelling and appearing in British films. Giving a critically acclaimed performance in the Broadway production of Gigi, I later received a Tony Award for Ondine, just six weeks after scoring the Best Actress Oscar for Roman Holiday. Andrew. Audrey Hepburn. I am Audrey Hepburn, that's correct. It all starred with Sean Connery and Robin and Marianne. Now, um, Andrew, you're trailing at the moment mm. by $25. So the money would help. We've got $10 behind one of our famous faces, who tonight are... Co-star of Nine's hit comedy, Bruno Campos. Jesse. Tracy Grimshaw. Uh, the Today Show at Our Country. Peter Phelps. Stingers. Laura Innes. ER. Tassos Stephanopoulos. Tassos comes from Richmond in Victoria and would like to dance like John Travolta and also play soccer like Maradona. Nice to have you with us, Tassos. Fiona Fearon. Burke's Backyard. Molly Meldrum. Hey, had Saturday. Kathy Najimy. Veronica's Closets. And Mike Monroe. From A Current Affair. That's the choice, Andrew. Which of our famous faces would you like? Well, we'll have the guru, I think. Molly. The guru? Here's Molly. Andrew, keep your crowning glory looking regal with this hair care package with curl rollers, a tryer, brushes and more. It's valued at $417 from Vidal Sassoon. Another nice prize for the list there, Andrew. Uh, the money stays hidden and as I say, it's a very big night. So at the moment, Stuart is in the lead on 40. Lynn on 20 and Andrew on 15. And we'll be back shortly with round two. Back. This is round two on the sale, so let's get straight into the questions. Meaning to cleanse or to eliminate, as by killing a political opponent, is which word beginning... Andrew. Assassinate. Beginning with P was the rest of the question, Andrew. Sorry. Purge. Held at noon on January 20 every four years is which ceremony in the US of installing the... Stuart. Uh, Groundhog Day? No, the new president. Uh, we might go for inauguration on that one. <laughs> $15 has been placed on the Fame Game board, so who am I? Born in New York City in 1939, I was used to wearing hand-me-down clothes and felt a great sense of accomplishment when I could afford to buy new ones. An individual who refused to wear fashion sported by my teenage friends, I dropped out of college and worked for a tie company before starting my own firm. Creating a unique style with wide ties, in 1968, I introduced Stuart. Uh, Ralph Lauren. I am Ralph Lauren, that's correct. Uh, also introduced the uh, chinos and the jeans as well. Well answered, Stuart. You have the opportunity to pick from our famous faces. So who would you like? Uh, Tracy Grimshaw, please. Good luck. Lovely lady. Here's Tracy. And there's $10. Just what the champ doesn't need at the moment. You're up to $45, Stuart. Uh, Lynn on 20. And uh, Andrew, who is risking all the prizes and the car to be back with us on 10 at the moment. So back to the questions. An entertainment performed between the acts of a play and a light instrumental composition are both known as an inter-what? Andrew. Interlude. Intermezzo I've got here. Just let me check upstairs with that though, Andrew. Yes? Okay. Yeah, we will accept that, Andrew. Uh, $15, your score. Lynn on 20 and Stuart on 45. Which mineral matter of various compositions also means to move backward and forwards? Lynn. Rock. Rock is correct as we go to the fast money. 30 seconds up on the clock. Our time starts now. Associated with Anzac Day's expression, lest we want, Andrew. Forget. Yes, beginning with P is which Spanish word for an open public square? Stuart. Uh, pass. 
Plaza. Rod Stewart had the hit song Maggie Who. Lynn. May. Yes, in which country of the British Isles is the town of Carnarvon? Lynn. Scotland. Wales. A large farm machine is the combine what? Andrew. Harvester. Yes, uh, in which sporting contest do athletes compete in 10 different events? Lynn. Athletics. Decathlon. Uh, Australian born author Pamela Travis created which musical nanny? Andrew. Mary Poppins. Yes, uh, Operation Sea Lion was the code name. And at the end of Fast Money, a great effort by our champ, Andrew. But Stuart, you're still in the lead. You're on $40. You have a lead of 10 over Andrew, 20 over Lynn. But if you like, Thanks, Stuart. You can buy here with Nikki. Well, if caring for your car lacks a little drive, then this total car care package will really put you and your car into high gear. Providing monthly services for two cars, it includes hand wash, dry polish, interior vacuum and clean, and even attention to the windows and the tyres, so that your car will feel young again. Normally $1,560, but tonight it's yours for a polished $9 from VIP Car Care and Sale of the Century. A lot of action happening around. Here, isn't there? Off you go. Um, now, Stuart, I would imagine you're a fairly busy guy. Ah, uh, yeah, fairly busy. Yes, and I'm sure this would help out as far as looking after your car at home. And uh, we want just nine dollars for it. Nine dollars, going once. Oh, it's a bit close tonight. Well, it is. One might argue with you there. Mm -hmm. No, uh, thanks. eight dollars, no. going twice. No. I'll go down as low as seven. That's the lowest I'll go. Seven dollars going three times. I can't meet you there, no. No? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. One to you then, Stuart. Okay. No sales. So Stuart's still in the lead on 40. Andrew, two questions behind on 30. And Lynn on 20. Before we go to the break, though, 9th of July today, and it was on this day in 1954, an Australian golfer became the youngest ever winner at the British Open. Who was it? We'll tell you after the break. Viewers question tonight. Many golfers would not, I'm sure. At the age of 24, Peter Thompson was the uh, youngest winner of the British Open. A great player. All right, uh, Stuart is playing very well at the moment on 40. Andrew proved his dynamite in the fast money, coming up to $30 there. And Lynn on 20 as we get into the cash card round. Keeping in mind that if all goes well for Andrew tonight, over $320,000 in cash and prizes could be his. Going to the questions. First one. On what date in August 1945 was the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima? The date was the 6th of August 1945. Also describing a lustrous black colour is the name of which corvine bird larger than the crow? Lynn. I was going to say the crow. Unfortunately, we needed raven. Cash card time and Stuart, you have the opportunity to play a lead of $10. Tight game, but... You do have the chance to pick out $5,000. Here's the money. It could be yours or maybe this wonderful prize. Stuart, give your family an educated edge and prove that knowledge will never go out of style with the ultimate in up-to-date educational tools. This 32-volume encyclopedia set comes smartly bound in heirloom black and includes a special three-volume replica set. Plus, it's intelligently backed up with a CD-ROM and a one-year online subscription. Cleverly priced at $2,766 from Encyclopedia Britannica and Sale of the century. That is a fabulous prize. Now, Stuart, that could be yours or the money. Cost you $15. What would you like to do? Oh, like to give it a go? It a go. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Andrew breathed a sigh of relief. Uh, Stuart, well done. Now, uh, having sacrificed the lead, we wish you well. We hope you pick up the five grand. Thank so you. which machine would you like Nicky to play for you? Uh, the clubs, please. The clubs. The clubs. Oh, keep the fingers crossed. crossed. Let's hope the money's on there. Uh, Stuart, on the clubs. Oh, the prize. So you picked up the encyclopedia. Great Wonderful prize. prize. It was hearts tonight, I'm Ooh, afraid. nearly there. <laughs> right next door on the hearts machine. That's where the $5,000 was. So our champ is in the lead. Uh, Andrew on 30, Stuart on 25, and Lynn on 15. It's been a close game all the way through the night, and it still is. So back to the questions. Born in South Australia in 1935, was which socially conservative senator from Tasmania who recently... Un Brian Stuart. Harradine. That's correct, who recently undermined the GST legislation. Brian Harradine, we have a tight game. In January 1997, Victor Klima succeeded Franz uh, Vanitsky as Chancellor of which Central European nation? We needed Austria. In law, the period of time which in various matters determines right or liability... Lynn. Statute of limitations? No, or liability is a year and a what? All we needed was a year and a day. Very important fame game question here. $25 in the wild card has been placed behind one of our famous faces. We have a tie for the lead. So, who am I? 
Born in London in 1873 and dying in 1935, I migrated to Australia with my family at five and while at grammar school discovered my talent for athletics. Later winning numerous Victorian, New South Wales and Australian titles, I was sent to London to work and while there continued in athletics and decided to compete in the first Stuart. Edmund Flack. That's a great get there Stuart. Good answer. In 1896 became the first Australian to become an Olympic champion when he won both the 800 metre and 1500 metres. So Stuart, uh, which of our famous faces would you like? Uh, Kathy Najimy please. From uh, Veronica's Closet. And that's for $15. Taking you up to $40, uh, $45 I should say. Giving you some breathing space before we go to the Mad Minute. But where was the remainder of the money Nikki? The wild card was with Laura Innes and Fiona Fearon had the $25. Thanks Nick. So that's where the money was. At the moment Stuart is in the lead on $45. Andrew, a carryover champ going for the cash jackpot and everything on $30 and Lynn on $10. Now we have seen over the last six nights that Andrew is dynamite on the fast money so anything could happen right after this break. It's time for the deciding round, the Mad Minute. A lot of tension here at the moment, a lot at stake over this next 60 seconds. So let's just get straight into it. Our scores, Stuart on 45, Andrew on 30 and Lynn on 10. Good luck to all of our players. 60 seconds up on the clock. For the game, your time starts now. On the stock exchange, top quality shares are described as blue. Andrew? Blue chip. Yes, which anagram of care is a group of persons connected by heredity? Andrew? Race. Yes, so on which peninsula beginning with B are Albania and Macedonia? Vulcan. What do we call the central core of an atom? Stuart. The nucleus. Yes. In which state or territory is the East Alligator River? Andrew. Northern Territory. Yes. Uh, the internet access provider abbreviated to AOL is literally America. Online. Stu Correct. Uh, in which country is the port of Haiphong? Lynn. China. Vietnam. In the movie, what kind of animal was old yeller? Andrew. A dog. Yes. Uh, beginning with R is which killing of a king? Andrew. Read your sign. Yes, a collection of tables for quick calculation is called a ready what? Stuart. Reckoner. Yes, uh, which Australian soccer team won this year's Ericsson Cup? <laughs> Lynn. Sydney City. South Melbourne. Uh, C.S. Forrester created the literary character Captain Horatio. Andrew. Blower. Yes, uh, what would you usually do with a papadum? <laughs> Andrew. Read it. Yes, uh, which tripod device supports a painter's canvas? Stuart. An easel. An easel is correct and we have a tied game. <laughs> tied game. Lynn, uh, you're out of it. Andrew and Stuart, first person in with a correct answer will win the game. An incorrect answer will win it for your opponent. So good luck, gentlemen. Who am I? Born in Ireland in 1847 and dying in 1912, I was an outstanding runner and footballer at university where I studied law and science. During a decade as a civil servant, I was also the unpaid drama critic for the Dublin Mail, and it was in this capacity that I met my idol, actor Sir Henry Irving. For the next 27 years, I was his manager, writing as many as 50 letters a day on his behalf, and together we enjoyed a partnership operating London's Lyceum Theatre. During my time in his employ, I furthered my interest in literature by writing several novels including The Lady of the Shroud and my most famous work, Dracula. With the firsts, Andrew. Bram Stoker. I am Bram Stoker, yes, he's come through. He's won the game and won a way to do it too. <laughs> Right to the very end. Oh, well done. Under a little bit of pressure there. Congratulations, Andrew. That's uh, probably the most nail-biting finishes we've had for a oh long time. My God. But also, congratulations to Stuart, too, for a fantastic game. <laughs> yeah, well done, Stuart. You actually picked up tonight the encyclopedias, valued at $2,766. Well done, a great game. Fabulous yeah. having you with us, too, Stuart. I Thank hope you, you enjoyed yourself. Yeah, and Lynn, sorry, no prizes, but I do hope you had fun. It was Thank a good you. night. Nice to have you with us in one of our most memorable final finishes, I can assure you. And uh, Peter has these gifts for both Lynn and Stuart. Thanks, Glenn. Lynn and Stuart are bound to thrill with their quizzing skills as they take home the latest sale of the century board game from Crown and Andrews plus they'll receive our 18 karat gold plated pin from Shimani jewellery and sale of a century. Andrew, congratulations. I don't know how your heart's going. What's it like at the moment? I think it's still going. It's still there. Played extremely well, has been a fantastic champ. So the time you've been waiting for, let's go shopping. Come on through and have a look here because it's all yours. Well done. Well done. And I'm pleased to say Anne has picked up some nice prizes too. <laughs> Here you are. Actually, having a look at it, you've picked up the furniture, picked up a computer, a spa. There's also the trip to Mauritius, which you're both going to love. The fabulous piano, so your son's got that. And uh, also, this wonderful necklace for Anne. 
boasting artistry which only nature could create, this opal and pearl necklace is sure to steal the show. With perfect tones from a string of 66 round lustrous pearls, plus a handcrafted yellow gold enhancer, and the highlight of the piece, a deep cabochon dark opal, magnificently surrounded by a cast of dazzling diamonds. Valued at $20,000 from Germani Jewelry. Beautiful necklace there from Germani Jewelry. That's yours. And also to top off the prize package, the Alfa Romeo Spider is all yours too. When the spider bites, there is no known antidote. Bursting the most agile and seductive form of all, the spider will empower you with genuine sporting finesse with a racetrack bred engine and an adrenaline charge pounce that leaves its competitors gasping. Every ride in the spider is a sensory feast. Thrilled to the throaty ground of its engine. Marvel at a body so sublime that none could possibly forget it. Along with a leather-lined cockpit, it's valued at $69,500 plus on-road costs. Alfa Romeo, the heart and soul of sports cars. And befitting both the champion and vehicle of this caliber, our 18-karat gold diamond-studded keyring valued at $2,000 from Germani Jewelry and sale of the century. There it is, Andrew. That's yours. The fabulous Alfa Romeo Spider from Germani Jewelry. The keyring is yours as well. And to top it all off, what an amazing day it's been for you. Amazing. This cash jackpot is yours as well. Have a look here. Andrew's sale of the century cash jackpot is $184,000. $184,000 well, $184, in total, Andrew. $357,889 worth of cash and prizes. So congratulations, you've been a fabulous champ. One of our most memorable finishes there. There's those flowers there. Would you like to say something? I would actually, Glenn. Um, I'd just like to uh, say that the day I started on this odyssey, my mum passed away. And she always encouraged me to have an open and inquiring mind. So I'd just like to dedicate this win her memory. Well, you've done very well, Andrew, and she'll be very, very proud of you for sure. Fantastic. It's been great having you with us. You've been a fabulous champ. We'll see you in the future in our Master Series or Thanks something so like that. And we look forward to seeing you again on Monday as we continue with Sale with three more contestants. Catch you on Monday. Bye. Bye. Have a good weekend.